last episode on Element, you guys saw that um, we kind of left you guys on a cliffhanger. It was kind of a, a cliffhanger that we were going to lead towards something, but then unfortunately something came up and I did take that break that I took. And um, a lot of things have happened between the time that I left and the time that I'm back today. A bunch of things have happened with the team, a bunch of things have happened with our record and stuff. It's just been a bunch of crazy stuff that's been going on. So first, um, the cliffhanger that I left you on was uh, we dropped Chase, or Terminator, as you guys know him. Um, we dropped him and we were going to pick up Luis. That's why in the end you guys saw um, Welcome Back because you guys know from my past videos that our team used to be um, with Luis. So that's why I said, hey, welcome back. Um, uh, so we did pick up Lewis. We played with him for a little bit. And then um, we just kind of like, uh, we wanted to stay with four people. Because at the time we were playing with, uh, it was always Caden, myself, and Nick. Those were the three for sure that were on the team. Then we had like uh, two people that were in the fourth, which was Galaxy and uh, Luis or Inspired Apples. Um, Galaxy was playing well. He was playing phenomenal. He was super clutch player, super smart player. Probably one of the smartest players I've ever played with. And then Luis was just a person who knew how to do his job and knew how to do it well. He did everything right. He he just um, he filled in the role. But we kind of wanted that playmaker um, player, and that's kind of what Galaxy brought to the team. He brought in that clutch factor that not a lot of players have and that um, it's kind of rare to see uh, like a person clutch as many times as he does because he's really 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 good at just situational stuff um so we decided to uh, I'd say I'm just yeah I'd say dropping Luis um it was kind of not a formal drop it wasn't like uh Luis uh we just found that we want to play with Galaxy we feel that it'd be best for the team and we're gonna play with him over you, so your drop. Um, it wasn't like that. With Chase, it was like, um, for the team, we felt that we performed better with uh, um, with another player, and I just went straight out to him, and I told him, and um, there's some other stuff that happened after that with uh, between Chase and the team, but that's not really important. Um, so then, Lewis, uh, went on to just kind of play the game casually just by himself or with uh, some friends that he has and then galaxy became our new fourth between this whole mix and it was uh, crazy that um the super sub which is the last episode that i left you guys on was the person to take that fourth place because we didn't even know that that was going to happen we also had a mix of uh, the cdsd or cody um he was in that mix too uh it just kind of separated from there i don't really remember what happened with him but um we started playing with him when we didn't have one of the main three um so yeah he kind of separated off and he uh, i think he started his own team which is cool i'm happy for him that he started his own team now we have the hardcore four like this is the squad i left you guys off i think with like a six and one record we went on to go and absolutely demolish the, the ladder for the next like month. We went, I believe we went like 86 and six. Like we won 86 and then we lost six between a whole month. And then I kind of got on a slump because there's so much happening with the team. The, um, and now I'll explain to you that uh, Caden, uh, kind of had some difficulties with the stuff. He had some baseball stuff that he had to do. Um, then he kind of got a, a little bit of trouble with his uh, parents. And then uh, just some mishaps. And then we didn't really get to play with the four that went on that huge run. And it was kind of a mistake because um, we, we damaged our record. And I performed off like absolutely terrible like i could not drop more than four kills for the longest time and you guys have no idea how frustrating it is for a person like myself like i always like to perform the best that i can i always like to perform like better than my teammates because i want to be that person that you can like trust to make a big play or trust to do this and that but i was just dropping three kills two kills one kill and it was just absolutely like demoralizing and it just 
it sucked. And then now recently, um, we kind of solved the reason why I was in a slump. So it, I would, I've been playing with four, five sensitivity, four horizontal, five vertical, and uh, I changed it. I also changed the height of the monitor and my vision towards it. I put a, a little razor thing that um, makes it go higher. And I also put up my sensitivity to six, seven. Huge mistake. In the future, if you guys ever think that you guys should raise your sensitivity, like after you've played with one for so long, don't do it because your shot becomes awful. I've just gotten back in the groove with four or five. I'm back to it. I'm I'm dropping more than like a consistent more than six kills, seven kills, which is still not like what I want. I want to be able to like drop those high numbers almost every single match. And obviously, you're gonna have bad games no matter what. But like like most of the time I want to drop more than at least eight kills I want to be that player that that's consistent with those kills um so I got back into the groove and I uh, took out the razor thing put it back to where it was perfect guy level and now I'm playing well um we had a big big scruffle between the team a lot of drama because since Kaden was gone it was just like we didn't, it was a long time that we didn't get to play with the core four because it was either when Kaden got on, um, I couldn't get on because he plays really late. And uh, when it was just like miscommunication really and just the ability to get on when others can't. And again, that week that he did get in trouble and it couldn't play was also very, very big because again, we only played threes. And then we even, it went back to the fact that we played with Terminator again, which is, um, I'm just gonna say, it was kind of a mistake that we played with him because we should have just kept rolling with him. And Caden and Terminator are two very, very, very completely different players. They play absolutely like, a, a Terminator is a very hyper aggressive sub player and he likes to get into people's faces. He really doesn't think about hey, what's the situation and what's going on. He just kind of hits them. And then Caden more of that, like he's sitting back with an AR and he's trying to pick people off and just fill in a whole lane. And he's really good at that. And so playing with the different players, like it was, it completely threw us off. We didn't know how to play normally. Like we didn't feel comfortable. And again, us four, we knew a lot of strategies and we could have run them how we wanted to because again, they do make it play very different. Um, I'd say that I'm super, super excited now to get back into this element. You guys have been asking for element back. I've been slacking, laziness, super bad from my part. Uh, just, I have to get back on the grind and once I get rolling, you guys know I'm going to be shooting out videos for you because at one point I was uh, uploading daily and then I made the mistake of just uploading one video a week, which was the element video. And then now I think I'm going to try to do the mix of, um, element and then a bunch of other videos. I've already recorded, I think three videos, um, with uh, some of my friends, not with the team, not so serious videos, just kind of relaxing, playing something else. So that was really, really fun uh, doing those videos, but we're getting back into it. But that that's not the point. The point of this is to tell you guys where we're at right now. So uh, Kaden came back, uh, Galaxy's here, I'm here, I'm playing better now, and um, Nick is here. Uh, we all have been playing together and it's been, uh, I think we're undefeated so far since Caden's come back and we've played with the Hardcore 4. Um, and it's been really, really good. That's awesome. It's great. Uh, we we feel really comfortable playing with each other. We have to start going over strats again because a lot of the things are changing and our setups are really, really bad. We get a lot of uh, mistakes. We do a lot of mistakes when we shouldn't be. When it's like easy rounds that we win, we sometimes lose, but in the end of the game, we like win the whole game. So it really doesn't matter, but I want to be able to win a lot more crisp, a lot more like confident, a lot more dominant. So like when we were doing, like when we had that 86 and six run, we had setups, we had straps, we knew what we were doing in every map, no miscommunication. We were just paying attention more on actual in-game communication, like call outs and other stuff like that, instead of thinking about um, who's doing what, which is what's going on right now. 
like um, I'll be watching something and I'll have to think like what is my teammate across the map watching because can someone from a different lane flank me or something like I don't that we're kind of like in the mix of that so it, we just have to get back in the groove again just like this YouTube thing uh, once we get back in the groove you guys know that we know we can perform and we will perform and we are playing a lot more tournaments now so you guys should be looking out for some tournaments in um in this element series well it looks like they are doing just that i'm trying to see if anyone has their specialist uh, all we have is an overdrive from some plexes i'll probably hop on board with him next round as he'll probably use it i was mid shrimp oh he's high glitching he gets one big pick big pick oh he can get the two piece get some one shot very smart decision not to push mm. him oh confiding picks galaxy galaxy should not have got picked up oh they're all gonna challenge him ian with another kill Oh, Renegades with a huge three-piece this round to keep his team in the game. You don't challenge on the A-bomb head glitch. That's how you fucking hold that shit down. Let's go. So, I just wanted to uh, say that. So, overall, this is like kind of like a coming up of everything. We have the four, the hardcore four, Galaxy, myself, Caden, and Nick, all back in one team. Uh, we are getting everything back together with YouTube and Element the series itself, uh, grinding games with the team and everything like that. And I promise you guys, thank you, or I promise you guys that all the support that you guys have been giving me, like the messages asking me when's the next episode of Element, when's the next episode of Element, um, when are you gonna get back on that Element grind? Like all these things is what's been driving me to come back and I made a big mistake and you guys are still like here with open hands ready to take me back as a YouTuber and that's just absolutely awesome. I actually even had my first encounter of a real life fan. My mom told a, someone that lives in my neighborhood um, that I do YouTube and then uh, him and I were outside at the same time. I was taking out my dog and he came up and he was like, um, hey, are you that kid who does YouTube? Man, you're really good at Call of Duty and I like your videos a lot, man. Keep up the work. And I was like, and that when he said that, I wasn't posting videos. And that kind of like hit me, like hit me really hard. I'm like, he's saying keep up the good work when I'm not even doing work. And it's like, it kind of hit me hard. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm ready to perform. I'm ready to bring out content for you. And I'm ready to take this team to the next level.